You might think that the best place to play at 94 rated right mid might be at right mid, but you'd be wrong. Playing 94 Kubo at right back is the right way to go. Hi everyone, I'm Ghost Masala and welcome back to another episode of Road to Hokkaido, a series where I take a Japanese team and just mess around with it basically and do whatever I want to. But we have Kubo and that's what's good. But we don't have a Sarko, a Rip a Sarko. So yeah, in this video I'm going to take a look at should you play Kuba at right back? I'll do a summary at the end of whether you should or not. And is he good at right back? And just everything. Just play him at right back. I mean, that's what I've been doing. So basically, the whole right back thing comes because I played his future star card at right back. Because we've already got Nakagawa from right mid. And uh, yeah, he was really, really good at right back. Which this card should be even better. He's, he's got so much 90 rated stats, right? The defending stats are probably some of his best. I know it might look like 50 to the average person. But if you put on your true stat glasses, right, you will actually see that all of his stats are 90 in disguise. I will prove it today in this episode. And Kubo's job isn't done there. I'm going to put Nara here just to give Kubo even more of a challenge. Anyway, let's get into a game, see if this actually works. Please work. Forgot to put fitness on. But whatever, we have uh, rainbow colour Foden, uh, Fernandez holding his trophy. What is that dynamic image from Chesney? Oh, what a rainbow flick to start it off. Um, and that's a goal, but I don't care, because it's not Kubo's fault. It's just my fault, because I'm terrible at defending. Kubo. Oh. oh my, Kubo. They're not running at him. They're just too scared. They're just choosing to attack everyone except Kubo. And uh, to be fair, it is paying off. Here he is, first bit of defensive work maybe. What can he do? Can he stop the cross? Um, seems like no. Kubo, what are you doing? You're letting me down here. You're letting me down, okay? This is your one moment, the one time that you had to do something. Nakagawa. No, you idiot Nakagawa. Oh, I meant to pass it to Kubo, but that's a good goal, and Kubo was involved. Point proven. But yeah, good goal from Nakata and Kamada, working together. Nakata! 3-2, let's go. Nakata with two goals. Doesn't score that often to be fair, but Maeda comes on, and is a big game player. Half time. And guys, I think I've worked out what the problem is of playing Kubo at right back. So, right, Kubo's left footed right, so of course we've got to play him at left back. I mean, I should have seen this from the start. Kubo or he just wrestles off that guy. Gets it back. Back to Kubo. Oh, skills. Nakajima, no. No! What a save, Higashiguchi, legend. <sighs> Nara with a decent tackle there. You know! Oh, why? Come on! I was ah oh, so close to getting back into it, and then just stupid penalty. Oh, <gasps> that would have been an assist, Kamada. Oh, what play, Tiki Taka, and I'm really bad at this game. Kubo, edge of the box. Bam, left foot means he could cross it. Easy. Oh, a header. Well. Oh. Uh, was that Kubo's fault? Debatable. Who knows? Right, I, honestly, I don't know what happened because, like, normally he's just so good at right back. 
Might be the fact that I'm playing a silver defender cause, just because someone told me to. Might be the fact that he does actually only have 51 defending. Or might be the fact that I was trying to rainbow flick it over everyone every time I got the ball with him. So what's the final verdict? Good things about Kubo at right back is he's fast, he can attack. So seriously, Kubo was not that bad at right back when I used him before. I think it's just because I'm trying to play with him a lot that uh, he didn't seem that good. He's actually surprisingly good at defending, just not in this video. What, so what's the negative things? Well, he's not a right back. And he's got 51 defending. I mean, did you seriously think he was going to be a good right back? But yeah, so what What would I say? Well, I would say, if you have a Spanish team, I would say, you know, maybe, maybe just consider getting an actual right back. You know, maybe like Samedo. But if you've got a Japanese team, I would actually genuinely, I would actually genuinely, genuinely recommend Kubo at right back. I think he's surprisingly good and way better than any of the other options. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. A bit different. Uh, I know, but uh, yeah, career mode will be coming back soon. Let's go. If you're interested in career mode, I have a career mode series. Yeah, make sure to subscribe and stuff like that. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.